I absolutely despise the sound of instruments recorded direct, and there is no worse offender than the acoustic guitar. Unfortunately, you don't always have control over the recording sitch, such as a live concert, and you're just stuck with the nasty direct sound, which instead of having kind of a nice, sweet acoustic sound like... You're stuck with... So over the years, anytime I've had to mix a recording with direct acoustic guitar, I've struggled with the sound. I've tried all sorts of things, massive amounts of EQ, compression, expansion, multiband dynamics. I've tried splitting the track into several different versions and processing them differently and nothing really worked in. I saw this one trick with uh, somebody using a very, very short reverb to try to simulate the acoustic chamber of the instrument itself. And that was kind of a step in the right direction. But then I got an aha moment. I've actually fairly frequently reamped instruments in the mix, uh, electric instruments anyway, like especially bass, because most people just plug straight into the interface and call it good. And so uh, I just find that reamping the instrument through my own amplifier helps the sound quite a bit. And so I thought, why can't I do the same thing with an acoustic guitar? So I got to Parts Express and I ordered some distributed mode drivers and started playing. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that I put the guitar on foam blocks, which isolated it from the surface below it. And from there, I had to make sure that it was level. Otherwise, the drivers would slide all over the place. I know that from experience from my initial test. Uh, anyway, so from there, I could start experimenting with placement of the drivers. And if you notice, I have several stacked together. That's because they need the weight to keep from rattling, and since they're polarized magnets, they just kind of stack together and that actually makes a, a, an ideal weight. So the sound changes quite a bit as you move the drivers from one spot to another, and I found that, at least to my ear, the best sound was when I placed it on the bridge, which, which kind of makes sense, uh, because that's how the vibrations from the strings would normally get transferred to the top of the, of the guitar. And from there, I started working on placement of the microphone, and I initially started with the mic in the place that I would normally put it for just a, an acoustic guitar recording in studio, and that didn't really work. It sounded terrible. And so I had to experiment quite a bit with placement there, and uh, I got a placement that I thought sounded pretty good initially, and then when I went back to try to mix it, it had a weird phase shift to it, and so I tried another experiment. I didn't document this, unfortunately, but I played pink noise through the driver and I moved the microphone a little bit this way, a little bit that way until the comb filtering went away. And I don't really know what the source of it was. I suspect it's because of there a little bit of a gap between the bottom of the distributed mode driver and the top of the guitar. And so I just moved it until that minimized that effect. And But it was still close to what sounded best to my ear. And from there, I could kind of play a little bit further. Now, this is a different guitar from what was used in this recording. I actually found that I had to pre-EQ out some resonances from the original guitar, because otherwise it would compound with, with my guitar. And actually from there, it kind of came together fairly quickly. Take a listen. So in the end, it was probably a little more trouble than it was worth, considering there was so much experimentation involved in getting the mic placement correct. But I feel like it was at least worthwhile as an experiment. It was certainly an improvement over the original direct sound. Of 
course, it didn't sound like just miking an acoustic guitar in the regular way, but it has a little more natural body to it. It doesn't have as much of that weird, nasty top end that the direct sound had. And by the way, I didn't mix the two together. That was purely the reamp sound. Anyway, I put a link uh, in the description for those drivers that I was using. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask and don't forget to uh, click the thingy to make YouTube do stuff. And uh, have a great day.